Greetings everyone, this is BJ Black from No Export For You, and welcome to part 11 of my Let's Play of Mon Moose Quest Paradox RPG, Confrontation Chapter. So this is going to be a hell of a dungeon, let's get to it. This is the enemy capital, Ground Gold. As expected of the epicenter, the, the aura that we've been feeling all the time has gotten quite oppressive. With it being this dense, random soldier just sends their spacing out. Cries out to the queen. Man, these soldiers aren't of any use at this point. Well, it's convenient for us though. Oh, ah, there's an ant coming. Queen, I good. Hmm. Oh no, what do we do? Uh, this is bad. Look at, fool her. Queen, I good. Well, good job, Luca. You saved us. Well, the guards in the town seem to be pretty useless, but if we go to the castle, it's not going to be so easy. Mephisto, what are our next actions? Well, let's go to the tavern. That's where we'll find our last helper. A tavern again? Your operative sir, she sure seemed to like taverns. Well, we've gotten help from a booze-making guild. Originally, the booze-making guilds are connected to the underworld. Strongly connected to the underworld, after all. Underworld? Eh, but let's go to the tavern and find our final helper. I think it would be funny if Luca was stuck in that weird-ass crying up for the queen thing and still kept doing his hero stuff on some kind of subconscious uh, pre-programming. Anyway, this guy will guide us to the tavern. It's funny how I don't know how most of these towns are even laid out. Anyway, this is the tavern in question. Our final helper is waiting inside. Hmm, our final helper, huh? I wonder what kind of person it'll be. Ah, you're finally here. You guys are going to be the shock troops. Razaro? Wait, what's going on here? What? You guys? Huh? Well. 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 Jeez, I didn't hear anything. I didn't hear nothing about this. Yeah, we didn't hear about this either. To think that you're the boss of the underworld, Razaro. And you guys, what are you doing in this kingdom overthrowing plan? You brats should be on a more wholesome adventure here. Okay, okay, you two, calm down. To think that Don Father would be the one who raised you two. Hmm, it seems our background check was insufficient. Ah, jeez. Now my family's been found out. Give me a break. Rosado, afterwards, we're going to have you tell us all the details. See, look at this. She's gotten angry at me now. Ha, huh. easy there, Don. We would have had to... T it's something that we would have had to tell them sometime. Modern. Weren't we talking to you like you were Don Father? Yes, normally I play the role of Don Father. But the true Don is Razaro. And I'm also an acquaintance of Luca's father and Sonia's mother. Once upon a time, together with Razaro as well, the four of us went on an adventure. So 
You are the one who did the magic in the party. Right. The, the wizard, Marlin. Lately, his magic powers have started to get away from him, however. No, but maybe you and Lazaro could have had some kids. Then we could have this second generation hero party going on. Oh, maybe we could get those guys from the alternate dimensions or something. Ah, never mind. Okay, let's set aside the longer conversation for another time. We need to talk about, well, what we're doing. Well, nothing to talk about. Our preparations are complete. So, we can go anytime. So, these preparations. What kind of vile scheme are you talking about here? Well, their organization has got people infiltrated all across the town. And when we give the signal, all at once they're going to detonate all the explosives. So here in Grand Cold, in 15 vital facilities, he's gotten his followers worked in. So we've got some... He thought it would be a difficult job, but since everybody's all crazy around here, it was actually pretty easy. So the infiltration operation was surprisingly simple. So once we give the signal, all the explosives go off together. Hey, that's indiscriminate terrorism! Hey, don't say such dipper, dis, disreputable stuff as dis, indiscriminate terrorism. We're doing this good and proper. This is discriminate terrorism. We don't wrap any of the commoners up in it. We're pros. So you just relax your pretty head. Once the important points have been blown up, there aren't going to be any human casualties. Heh. They've been careful with their important points then. Well, this operation is about saving ground gold from the hands of the Mao. For that purpose, when the operation succeeds, we don't need, want to have a lot of casualties to deal with. That would, uh, you know, harm the peace talks and everything. So, keeping the commoners out of it and running it in a humanistic kind of way was an important part of the battle plan. So, the idea is just to throw the city into confusion. Then we infiltrate the castle. Is that it? In the town's waterway, we can infiltrate the castle. We've completely researched that. Although there are, you know, monsters wandering around in it. Always. So, once we punch through there, the Gra King Grand Gold will probably come through. I don't know. The one who's manipulating King Grand Gold, the Queen Ant, we defeat. That's the plan. So, in the end, it all rests on... Failure or success rests on us, huh? Of course, if we should fail in our operation, Grand Noah will disclaim any connection to us. The ones that Grand Gold captured would be some completely unknown hero group and an underworld boss and a unreasonably suspicious magic vizier as well. Geez, we're pretty good for, you know, these black ops seeing as they can disclaim knowledge of us at all. But if everything goes well, all of us look as well get to be national heroes. 
Hello! Getting a little excited. This isn't the time to get excited, you dumbass. Once this is over, I'm gonna ask you what you're doing wrapped up in this operation. The one who's gonna be hearing an explanation after this is us. I'm gonna get... <laughs> Sonia here is going to wring a full confession out of you. Ah, oh, yeah, please be gentle. Okay, so, looks like we're in the final steps of the operation. So, before we get started, we should be prepared for battle. Okay, I'm ready. Okay, two sentence recap. Thank you. Luca, are you, have you got all your preparations done? Is your equipment all set? Do you have enough items? Have you switched to the most appropriate job? Hmm, maybe he is a little parent-like. Well, whatever. All right, let's commence operations. Razaro here is going to guide us to the waterway leading into the castle. So, he'll be accompanying us on the way into the castle. Marlin, old man Marlin, as well. I thought you would say so. My preparations are complete. Oh, so Don Father isn't going to be taking a hands-off approach here, huh? Yeah, if you don't get wrapped up, you have a better perspective of the big picture. Yeah, but Rosado says since it's these guys, you can't just send us off without a guide. So, he's going to be coming along. Good for you. Alright, son of Marcus and daughter of Karin. To think we'd be... To think that I'd be traveling together with you. Ah, life has so many ups and... So many surprises in it. Alright, Marlin joins too. But, Rosaro, can you fight? You basically can't move your arm. Hey, in the world of today, there are things called guns. You don't need all that much power in the trigger, the, in the finger that pulls the trigger. All right, commence operations. Let's blow this joint. So, Luca, you guys follow me. And according to plan, we're going through the waterworks. Ross Auto Follower. Kaboom. Ross Auto Follower. Kaboom. Yeah, this is how an explore. This is how exploring a dungeon should be. With lots of explosions. Alright, so we're doing it pretty good here. With this much commotion, the enemy's eyes are going to be drawn out into the streets. Are you sure there aren't any casualties among the commoners? Hey, this is professional work. You gotta believe in us. And we're the number one in the world as far as explosive terrorism goes. Uh, great. So, let's get in there while we have the chance. Let's go down that ladder and get into the waterworks. Alright then. So, we go through the waterworks, get into Grand Gold Castle. Then we're going to defeat the Queen. Uh, everything is as explained before. But there are monsters wandering around down here. Be careful. Yeah, it seems like the ants are keeping watch down here. So we gotta keep our wits together. Hey, don't get so, so, so tense here. If you don't relax your shoulders, you're gonna trip up. Hmm. It seems like there are some odd 
machines set up around here. What are they for? Well, Grongold is a highly advanced Magitek society. And furthermore, they seem to be researching Machina. So, they aren't just a big church. As expected, it's uh, the age of Machina. Or whatever. You know, there was something I thought I needed to tell you guys, and I forgot what it was. Oh, an interesting point. Rosaro wasn't present in Eliasville. I decided to take a look right before I came here. So at some point in the events, he just disappears from where you usually find him. But, well, here we are. Alright, once you go up that ladder, you're in the castle. But, this is as far as we know the route. Drango Castle was remodeled, well, big time, some years back. Since we haven't been able to get a spy into the castle, we don't know what's going on in there. But we gotta go in. Hey, be careful. There's a very strange presence coming towards us. Oh yeah, he looks weird. Answer, who are you? King Rangold. I said, answer, who are you? Wow, that's pretty impressive magic power. Being a human with that much of... Humans just don't have that much. Alright, I'm gonna hold this guy off. Look at you guys go on ahead. Wait a minute, Rosaro. Don't tell me you plan on dying here. I have no intention of dying here, idiot. I'm just gonna... appropriately delay him and buy you some time. Furthermore, Luca... Do you think you can swing your sword without hesitation here? This guy is a human. After a fashion. That's right. Luca only really fights monsters, doesn't he? But, if it's Rosaro, he can kill without hesitation. So, you better let us ta tackle this. Well then, I shall accompany as well. I rather like... I've gotten rather into the habit of liking punching kings. You're before king, what are you? Don't move you! Well, well. Oh, to point a gun at the king. This is a magic incantation. Geyser of flame deliver a burning nightmare. Blaze! <laughs> My apologies. I wanted to roast a king once. Fine then. I'll show you the power of a king. So, his magic power starts expanding explosively. And his body also changes. Hey, old man. We're just supposed to slow him down. Now, you, you've, now you've gotten him all fired up. Oh, sorry. I got a bit excited there. This is my power. The true capacity of the royal bloodline. Oh, well, well. I guess he doesn't have any problem scratching his back. Offer up your lives to the king. Yeah, right. Rosaru, that isn't normal! Oi, Luca. Do you think I'm the kind of idiot that would look at that and say, Oh, that's pretty normal. <laughs> Ah, oh, Rosaro has some good lines sometimes. Well, this is pretty... impressive. If we took him on... directly, we'd definitely die. Alright, Luca. 
don't just stand there gawking. Hurry up and go. But against someone like that, we should all fight him together. Hey, I, unlike you, am used to fighting people well above my level. As long as you're not standing there gawking. Look at, let's hurry ahead. If we stay here, we're just going to be... Well, if we aren't here to interfere, then they can go at their own pace in the battle. Alright, Rosado, Marvin. You definitely can't die here. We're going to fulfill our mission, you know. Alright, we're leaving this to you. Let's go. Hmm, <laughs> okay. We better buy them enough time. Well, it's a promise with those young ones. So, we better not do it poorly. And if I let you die here, what they'd learn from it is to make a personal sacrifice too cheaply. Yeah, that'd be bad. So, we better survive this. <laughs> Offer them up those lives. There's lots of cover here now, and we've got a ceiling to play with. So, we're, we're going to be able to earn a good amount of time here. Alright then, let's go. So, We've lost them from our list of allies. Alright, we don't have time to be, want to be lollygagging here. We need to hurry up and defeat the queen so we can return the king to his proper senses. Yeah, defeating the queen, if only one second sooner. Mm. Yeah, it'll be a help to Rosado. So, let's hurry. But we can't go forward in a panic. The castle's become a kind of dungeon, so we should be careful. Alright, let's go. We're going to beat down the queen, who is the center of all this ruckus. Well, hey, look at that. As expected, you're the queen ant, aren't you? So, who are you? You don't seem to be from this country. What are you doing locked up? Aren't you the queen here? The one who's taking control of the country? Hmm, I see. From what you say, I can tell what's going on out there. So her daughters, the ants, are being manipulated. She herself has been forced to yield and locked up in this prison. And the one doing it is... They call themselves the Lilith Sisters. The eldest, Lilith herself, was the one who captured Queen Ant here. Ha, ah, as expected. Somewhere in her heart, Alice knew that there was something out of place. So if the villain isn't Queen Ant, it's the ancient succubus Lilith. So she's the queen that we are here to defeat. The one who's turned this country into a hell. So even the Queen Ant was only a victim here. This cell is quite sturdy. So she can't break it on her own. Would you defeat Lilith and free her from it? If you do, she will immediately put a stop to the uh, crazed situation her daughters have been up to. They're all being manipulated by Lilith. It's not their intention to be doing it. Well, from the beginning, our 
mission was to defeat the Queen, after all. And now we just know that it's Lilith. Well, if our opponent is going to be Lilith, then the remaining two younger sisters will also be acting with her as well. The Lilith sisters... who we're going to be fighting them here. Alright, you just wait here. We're going to defeat Lilith, the three Lilith sisters and free you. Hmm. Yes, I will wait. And... I'm ashamed that I cannot be of any assistance to you. Well, there's a good girl for you. So, we need to defeat those three and restore peace to this place. I just gotta say, what the hell kind of castle is this? We're headed for the throne room, but we got to wander through the prisons. Who designs these places? Open this up, please. Save me, please. Ah, you've been captured again? Let me out, please. I'm so hungry. Ah, she's so exhausted that she can't even front her usual attitude. Wonko whines. Pudigo says, save us. Yeah, good cool. boy, you guys are just this little piece of crap gang, aren't you? <laughs> but we can't open these bars from the outside. Well, even if we had a key, we wouldn't open them. Yeah. Hey, quit picking on her. It's funny how Sonia's the one who sticks up for Elias. I guess she's a goddess and everything, but still. Well, it can't be helped. We're going to defeat Lilith and open this up, so just wait here. Hmm. Poor girls. So let's hurry up, defeat the sisters, and let them out. Ah, oh, jeez, the prisoners in this place, they just can't s seem to keep to themselves. Oh, please show me mercy. Since I've been locked up in this cell, the soldiers have been just raping me one after the other. You appear to be smiling, you know. Hey, I've been locked up in a prison like this, don't you? Doesn't that make you want to say stuff like that? Although in reality, they haven't tortured me or sexually assaulted me or anything. It's so boring in here. I would say only she would do that, but if we captured one of the little sisters and locked them up in the castle, I could see them making the exact same complaint. Ha, huh, succubi. Anyway. Don't you have the ability to break out of this cell? Well, I guess we don't need to uh, ask since if you haven't done it. Yeah, the walls are pretty sturdy and there are magical barriers here and there. They're all... There's just layered seals about the place. And she still has a lot of damage from the fight. So she can't output her full power. As expected, fighting two of those ancient succubi at once was too much. Alright, you just wait here. We're going to defeat the three sisters and let you out. Hmm. But not the three sisters. The only one here is Lilith. The remaining two should be recuperating in the Maold castle. Hmm? Morgan and Astaroth are... Alma Elma was captured in the end, but she properly extracted the toll. Morgan and Astaroth are both in a state that they won't be fighting for a while. Against those two legendary succubi, you were able to get that far. Oh, this is very convenient. Amongst the three sisters, the only one that can fight would be Lilith. In that case, the one waiting ahead of us is only Lilith. Do your best! Oh, I forgot to, to say. The aura that's been filling this entire region. 
There's something strange about it. Strange? Now, I don't know what's strange about it, but... You're kind of the queen of succubi. And if you say so, it must be. So, without a doubt, Lilith is ahead, but... That's not the only one, so... Might not be the only one, so be careful. Mm, in truth, it is a lot of power to, you know, corrupt an entire kingdom at once. Even these ancient succubi, is it possible for them? Yeah, they're down to one ancient succubus at the moment. Anyway, let's move forward. We don't know exactly what's waiting for, but we can't turn back. All right then, let's go. Oh, look at that. Recovery part. I wonder what that means. Underground waterway. Hey, old man. Are you alive? No, I am dead. Okay, so I think we've bought enough time now. It's time to get our asses out of here. But, as expected, I don't think he's going to let us leave. Oh, we're not going to have... How are we going to face Luca and them after this? Hmm? Who's there? Hmm, I'm just passing by, but... I'll assist you. Hmm? That's it. Okay, two things to notice about that. First, it was an Earth attack, and second, the one line from the mysterious interloper was a standard lowly baba kind of speech pattern. Anyway, Alice says, well, here we are at the throne. Time for our final battle. Gotta check and make sure there's nobody hiding back here. We wouldn't want anybody to just pop up out of there and interfere. Okay. Lilith! Okay, with the commotion from the terrorism in the town and the infiltration of the castle, as expected, it was all your doing. Lilith, you've been acting out rather badly. Sitting in the seat of the queen, and along with the king, sub subjugating the entire country. But, it ends today. We're going to defeat you and free Grand Gold. Oh, you guys are operating under a big misconception. Although we could suppress a town or so, a whole country is not something we could corrupt all by ourselves. Even us sisters, that's just too much. So then, that's right. It's all been my doing. Overthrowing this kingdom, it's been quite fun. No way, that voice. Running the country, toppling the king, oppressing the people. It's all been my arts. See, this is why I check behind thrones. Alright, this is one of the six ancestors. The pale-faced, blonde, nine-tailed monster. Carve it into your souls, the name Tamamo no Mai. Tamamo? No, that's not right. You're not the Tamamo we know. That's right. She isn't the Tamamo that you know. She's come here from a world that was conquered by darkness. So, not only the angels, but also monsters are coming from parallel worlds. But, if one of the six ancestors were to come, who? Well, if Alice is intimidated, it must be pretty bad. So, that's how it is. This particular incident 
Tamamo invited the little sisters to assist in. Nothing more. Uh oh, what do we do? If they both attack us at once. Oh, we don't need to do two on whatever how many people we got here. Tamamo by herself is going to defeat all of us. So, come at me. And please, try to make it a little fun for me. Oh man, this is a big opponent. There's no way we can win. Just saying that we can't win, we can't give up here. Let's go. Choo! Alright, this battle you can't fight on easy. For this battle alone, the difficulty will be set to normal. I bet you I can win. Okay, round one. That was all four of my characters dying. Minnie resurrects because she's a phoenix. Okay, round two. Minnie went first. Six, 78 damage. That was good. And then she got killed. Again. I didn't actually think she would get an attack off. Unbelievable. How strong she is. No, oh, you're so foolish to be resisting against her. Before one of the six ancestors, the people of this world are nothing. No, oh, it seems like everybody's getting all excited up in here. Another Tamamo. You're you're the Tamamo I know, right? You came to save us after all. Mm. Well, Alma Alma really kicked my ass back there. I couldn't just stay there rotting like that afterwards. Tamamo uses a last elixir on us. Our party regains our HP and MP. Oh, and on the way here, I saw a reconstructed human fighting some gangsters. I defeated the reconstituted human. That was correct, wasn't it? Yep. She saved Rosado. Thank you, Tamamo. Boing. Tamamo's so cute. Well, our Tamamo is. The other one has an appeal, I suppose. In any case, the one who's going to be fighting this one is going to be Tamamo. It's far too much for us to carry right now. Oh, so you're the me from this world. Aren't you already sealed? I've heard. This is some incantation as well. Something about her true form, the time of eternity. Peeling back the curtains of time and the twilight of the moon. And reveal yourself, my true form. So, you won't be unsatisfied with this, other me. Now our powers are about evil, are about even. That's your true form? Hmm, Alice never knew, did she? Alright, Lilith. You won't be able to fight this Tamamo, so you handle those heroes there. Hey. Our commander is Minagi. Even if it's you, Tamamo, you don't have the right to order us. But... This will benefit the plan the most, so... These remaining heroes, I'll take care of. Alright, we're leaving Tamamo to Tamamo and we get to fight down Lilith. Hmm, this time it's the eldest sister. And she's probably going to be taking it seriously. Alright, we're not going to let you have your way anymore, Lilith. It ends here. Hopefully I'll do more than 78 damage. Look at Get in the back ranks! No. Oh, I saw one of my characters die. Was that a second one? 
Huh, anyway. She says that she wasn't holding back. And even so, they were able to get this far. Alright, we can win. If we continue like this, we can beat her. Mm, as expected, Asroth talked us up and it turns out she was right. We're going to have to include you in our plans. Hmm, if you want to leave them alive, you can pull back then. If you fight too seriously, one or the other of you will end up dying. Alright then, I'll excuse myself. The next time we meet, you're going to be listening to our truth. Your truth? Whatever the truth you got, we're not lending our ears to you. Oh, you're going to lend your ears. You'll have to. If you want to protect this world, there's no other way. So then, let us meet again. Whoosh. Alright, other me. All that remains is yourself and... is you and me. So, the two Tamamo are... Oh, clashing with each other. And it seems to be pretty well... Yeah, matched. Well, she says she can leave the heroes alive, but she won't leave you alive. Since I obey the Dark God, it's my responsibility to take care of you. Hey, responsibility, huh? Conquering this kingdom at just for your own purposes. It makes me laugh to hear you speak of responsibilities. Oh, but your power. There seems to be a time limit, I see. Approximately... You won't last another minute, will you? Oh crap face. Bullseye, is it? You don't even have time to answer. All right, then be destroyed, other me. So our Tamamo is getting pushed back now. She's losing her power and, you know, pretty much losing. Oh, we can't let it go like that. So who are you guys? Near this, we're going full power. Full power? This castle will be blown away, is that all right? This isn't an enemy we can hold back on. We're going full power from the start. Okay, let's get serious. Isn't she cute? You two, those forms are... Well, one of them's really cute and then there's Nero there. Exactly who are you and why are you helping? We'll explain later, Master. For now, meet up your breathing with ours. So they're talking about how they coordinate their magic power. Breathing and such. Anyway, Tomo says she doesn't remember having any pupils. But fine, she understands. Let's go. So the three of them coordinate. And push back the other world's Tomo. quite powerful, which is good. Wow, this really is something else. The castle really isn't going to hold. Look, let's get the hell out of here. Alright, run! Hurry! <laughs> so, the castle is collapsing. Don't stop, keep running. So, we got out of the castle. Oh, maybe I should have told you it's a one-time dungeon. Oh, I hope I didn't miss any treasures. Anyway, is everybody okay? Is everybody here? Well, everyone in our party seems to be here. But Tamamo and Alma Elmar are... Soldiers say, what's going on here? What is... what? The castle is collapsing. What the hell's going on? Hey, they're coming to their senses. That means... Well, we don't know whether she lived or died, but that Tamamo's power has been cut. 
Grand Gold is freed. But at what cost? Tamamo, Alma Alma. And furthermore, Nero and Neris. Yeah, I thought I was going to die. Ah, oh, jeez, I'm just covered in dirt. Oh, that was truly surprising. Oh, by the way, I... We saved everybody who was in the cells. And we also picked up King Gold and those gangsters. The gangsters were pretty badly injured, but... It doesn't look like their lives are in danger. Hey, we were just mourning the four of you. Don't just pop up out of the castle like nothing happened. Nah, well, it seems worrying was useless in this case. You guys wouldn't die that easily. So, that Tamamo from the other world, probably she isn't dead, is she? But we beat down Tamamo and Lilith. It's our victory. With this, the war will end. That's right, now we can begin the peace negotiations. And our countries get to have their kings and important ministers in back to their senses and all. So that's all we need to do. Of course, we can expect a banquet from you guys, right? Once the peace talks have concluded, it'll be a pretty big banquet we can open up. You guys are the saviors of the country. Eh, so of course you're invited. Great. No complaints there. So, the battle with Grand Gold ended. That queen, who is the epicenter of it, is lost. So, King Gold and the people return to their senses. Much like the incident with the Queen of Sabasa, the King of Grand Gold was manipulated by monsters. But he's returned to his senses and the war ends. So, peace returns to the world. The losses in the war were... Well, we can't get them back, but... Peace, at least. Greets us. And then, several days later... In any case, actually, I'm going to cut here. I'm going to have a lot to do, and we've already done a lot already. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.